Well, you may have heard uh, the winning roles from Queensland on Morning Ireland a few minutes ago, but uh, of course, all the other roses didn't win and they will be travelling back to wherever they're from without that coveted crown. We're going to talk to one of them now. Uh, Siobhan was the Rose of Melbourne, uh, didn't win the title, obviously. Siobhan, good morning. Morning. Are you disappointed? Um, disappointment would probably be a huge understatement. Um, huge, massive, in fact. You, you just had high expectations. I, yeah, I came to win, you know. Um, I, I thought I'd win. My whole life has been leading up to this moment. So, yeah, I'm just a little... I'm a bit, bit taken aback, to be honest. When you say your whole life has been leading up to it, since, since what age? Um, I, three. And was it your parents encouraged My you? mother, my mother, yeah. It was her dream to be a role, so I suppose she was living her life through me. So, when the uh, the winner was announced then, it just sum up your, your emotions... I was shocked. I was shocked, definitely. But um, you have to move on, and I hope I can. And, you know, did you go into it last week looking at the other roses and looking at them and and their personalities and what they looked like, feeling you had a great chance? I did, definitely. You know, I wasn't here to make friends, John. I was here to get some new bridge silverware, a sash, maybe a husband. A lot of people who watch the Rose of Tralee think of it as a quite a unique contest and we always hear after the event about the participants that they've had the time of their lives and while they didn't win, they made new friends and they had a ball. Um, I wouldn't believe them when they say that, you know. A lot of them would be looking for, I suppose, jobs in TV after this. Are you competitive? Was it, was it, was it very competitive? Let's just say I wasn't the only one putting Vaseline on my teeth to make me smile easier, John. So, so do you leave with a sense of, of regret, a big sense of regret that, that it, it didn't uh, fall into place for you? Definitely, definitely. Um, what I'm going to take from this experience is failure, resentment and maybe some small bottles of shampoo from the hotel. In your opinion, did the best girl win? <clears throat> it depends on your definition of best girl. Have you any words for her this morning? I just think, you know, best of luck with it all because I think she's going to need all the luck that she can get because I don't believe it will come as naturally to her as it would have to me. So it's really a question of um, you probably regretting now that you ever got involved in the thing. Definitely. Waste of money. Right. Siobhan, uh, Rose of Melbourne, um, thanks for joining us uh, and bon voyage.